describe this man in particular. Like he'd do stuff and be like, wow, that's that sure is Wolf. Yeah. And then and then other wolves would start picking it up. Like he started killing people at 60% with forward air into back air conversions. And I'm just like, yo, that sure is wolf. That and is. And then other it wolves is. picked it up, yeah. and I'm like, God damn it, Dexter, what have you done? You know, he there there may be some he may have to pay for those sins. <laughs> It's like he might be inflicting pain here in the mortal realm, but yeah. eventually he's going to have to answer for them sins. And so, the scales are weighed heavily. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, Sego has been opting for a lot more Palutena lately yes. over his wolf. Yes. Now, I, obviously, this would be a ditto situation, so it's a little different, but I've been noticing a lot more Palutena the past few weeks out of him. I agree. Uh, I think it's, it's been something that I, I hesitate to say it's a solo main because uh, he has still taken out Wolf quite a bit. He still does very well with that character. I just think he enjoys Palo more, which is surprising. Yeah, that. I mean, there was there was very there were very few people on this planet that are more excited for Wolf coming into this game than Seagull Joe. Very true. Yeah. But if he's found this Palutena and it's working, I mean. I know the big debate is, is Palutena as good as Peach or whatever, and she's good. She's good. That's all you need to worry about. She'll get you there. <laughs> that she will. Now, so far, Dex is basically, he took a really early lead against Joe, but Joe's doing a great job in this pressure situation. Yeah. Just not allowing Dex to take the tempo. Joe's just kind of throwing those aerials out, and Dexter has to respect them. The minute the Dex tries for the gun, yeah. Seagull Joe responds to the auto weapon. That's going to take the stock. All right. Dexter on his second stock. Seagull at kill percent. And that dash attack is going to do it. Gives him the foot. I think that's a foot. Give him the boot. Yeah. All right. So even stocks. Dexter with a little bit of percent on him, but he could still get some get comboed pretty nastily. Buy some Palutena and stuff if he's not careful. And so far, Joe's really been playing very amazing. It's interesting. Joe's pressure game. Oh, just drag, just, just no hesitation there. No double jump either by Dex. That was very dangerous. Joe's been not, I won't call it aggressive, but just the pressure. He's constantly putting Dexter in a corner and just not letting him breathe. All right. Back throw, that's throw. not quite gonna do it there, but we're close. I'm liking Joe's like use of explosive play for two frame ball. It's, it's, it's such a good option. It's so versatile. They're not quite gonna do it, even at 152 here, Dex still Dexter has another lead on life. But there we go, the down tilt. Dexter trying to react quickly. Trying to make his own reply here. Look at that, they, both of these players are doing that. The wave dashing, uh, they're dashing down after a jump. He lives. He doesn't get the, I guess that has like a sweet spot and a sour spot. Cause there's the spike one that just kills you. Yep, and um, that can kill you early. But yeah, at the front of it, does not have that spike box. Yeah. It's still strong. You still don't want to be hit by it, but... Yeah, it doesn't kill at full stage 130. I will... Uh, I, I will not need that. Reminds me of the, like, two weeks. All the Smash was like, Wolf can't kill. <laughs> Wolf can't those, those kill. Those were a fun two weeks. That was, a, that was an interesting two weeks. It relies on straight hits. It was like, Palutena can't kill, then Wolf can't kill. And then Lucina can't kill. And it's like... They just realize, just do the same thing you've been doing. He it's kills. Like, the reason why you can't kill is because you staled out your kill moves because they're also your combo moves. Yep. You gotta be, you gotta like, think about, oh, I might, might I need back air in a little bit at 120? Might I need it? Oh, oh yeah, I will. Also, really, players need to do a better job of pummeling. Like, pummeling yes. is such an incredible it's tool so for those good For those of you who do not know, every pummel is a different entry in your stale mute queue. So if you pummel six times, that's six moves you're refreshing. Yeah, and that's and that's great for characters that that their combos rely on kind of the same moves over and over again, or you know your kill move is one of your biggest neutral tools. That back air is that is it. That is 120 at the ledge. Yeah, you're dead. Yes, sir. You don't even bother to you take your hands off them controllers. Ain't no direction gonna help you. 
A close game, though. We yeah. saw both players having moments where they were in complete control of the stage and of the game. So it's definitely... It's it, it, anything could happen in this game too, for sure. Yep, I don't think that we need character switches from either player here, unless perhaps some downloads happen. But I, I don't feel like I feel like these guys play each other so much that I don't think you're really gonna see one player. I feel like the downloads would have happened before they came here. Honestly, Very true. And Look this, this is a 46. What a way to start. That Palu up there is is it's a beast, and that in conjunction with that Nair. Drag down up air is terrifying, and I think it's the future for Palo. Oh, yeah. Everyone, I remember a lot of the Palo mains were excited because they could do drag down Nair stuff uh, when the game was released. Yeah, that's good, but drag down up air is just But up air, oh, God, you're just in there. You're in there for so long. Gets the tilt. A little preemptive on that up smash, but the right yeah. idea, I think. I think he was, he was expecting a uh, side B rather than the up B. Or throw very good DI out by Dexter. How is another one of those characters where if you hold in, you just die? Yeah, you have to be very smart with how you DI, and you have to be willing to take percent. Oh. I actually thought that was gonna kill. Hey, like, pre-patch pre that would have killed. Pre-patch, killed. Pre -patch sure, you yeah. did. Thanks, Sakura. Thank you. Thank you. Like, post the second patch. Like the first one when he was like, first yeah, one he might have. Yeah. Sitting there like, yeah, that's what we needed, Sakura. Thanks. Thanks a lot. 2% is balanced now, but no, this, the, the second look at it, the next touch-up, I, I think it, it was, it is now a move that isn't just brain dead, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, it's strong, you still don't want to get hit by it, it's not... But it's not kill you at 60 strong. Yeah. I will say though, they, they also made it hard that it frame. kills you, it's hard to frame. Also, it's, it kills from far side of the stage easier. Yeah. They uh, they did up the knockback growth and lowered the base knockback of that move. So even when Wolf gets nerfed, he can still find new ways to um, Oppress. make your life miserable. Yeah, this character has some very crazy tools. Did you know that his forward smash is only minus 10? Woo. Yeah, the shield drop animation is six. Yeah, so you, you have no time. No time to do anything. Especially with if you space it, you know? Yeah, if you space it, like, there's, there's literally, like, maybe five or six moves in the game that can punish you. Good Nair, but still hanging on here. Still getting a lot of extra percent, though. That, he just scooped him. What a grab. Up till that'll do it. Yeah, not quite as good as Snakes, but Dexter able to use it to stop the bleeding here. 75% and a lead situation, though. Can't get out. He's getting yes, a... Yes, he does. I start a very interesting counter. What a string. Just 62%, 69, like that. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> Yo, he actually threw out the, like, the, the forward air to cover one jump, and then immediately threw out the there to cover another one. But that he was in complete pump. control, and now it's over. <laughs> like his, all his, and now it's not over. Well, okay, yeah. Yep, coverage. If it's usually if Joe gets one down tilt, like that's all he needs to set up for an air. But yeah, still, Seagull was doing a really good job, and next just like I'm gonna flick forward on the season. Hey, I win. <laughs> That's, got, that's the wolf factor. He's got oh, some yeah. things that can just like explode with zero. Halu really doesn't have that. I think that's like wolf's edge of this matchup. Halu has the combo. She can she puts out the damage, but unless you get hit by like forward smash, forward smash is strong in this game. It's it's a little crazy. Up smash is crazy too. You can get hit by that weirdly and not necessarily die early, but just like you put in spot that you can't really recover yeah. most of the time. You never want to be above Palutena. It's the end of, like, that's just, you don't want to be above her. And if she can put you there, it's not good. Dash attack not from Bail and Seagull. Joe out of this one here as Dexter is looking to go ahead and take game two and continue his bracket one here in losers. But is Joe going to be able to actually get down and threaten this man? Forward air to force an edge. Can't get the up air though, and now Dex is full stage control again. Attack a little bit. A little bit risky there by Dex. 
Like Joe is playing so defensive and it's working so well, but the one Cross shield stage. drop. Oh, that was so difficult. Joe oh, had his angles broken lot. by Dexter. There was uh, just a lot of fainting in and out there, and uh, Dexter just. There's a cross just... up empty hop. He literally he jumped, he did an empty hop, and then a cross up empty hop. And Joe's like, oh, I'm going to get this grab. No, sir. All right, Joe on his tournament game going back to stadium. Are we going to see the character change? Perhaps we're going to see the Diddy Kong he's been working on. Or is it back? Yep, there, there it is. we go. The, nope, orange. Yes. Yeah, there we go. I was going to say, Joe. So, yeah, Joe definitely got, like, I, I saw him commenting on Dakpo's guide that, like, if you are looking to learn Diddy Kong, watch that bit. It's insane. So, Joe definitely knows some ATs now with this character. Yeah, it's. Um, Diddy Kong is a very different character in some ways from Smash 4. But. A lot of like his general game plan is still pretty much the same. You want to oppress with banana. You want to abuse monkey flip, um, and just like use those quick aerials to sort of disrupt what the enemy's doing here. So far, Seagulls getting some, doing some work here, but I feel like the the, the big change between Diddy Kong here is that he's much more cerebral. Yes. Like previously, you were just like, my hitboxes are amazing. Your hitboxes are amazing. Banana is better than half the cast. Now, um, banana is still better than half the cast, but because you can pick up banana with any like full length of your tilts and your aerials, yeah. you, you have to It's be. a lot less scary. It's like, yes, this tool is crazy good, but I can use it too. Yep. Um, also, Diddy Down Tilt is no longer better than half the cast. Very true. Uh, it's still a good move, and he's still got confirms out of it, but... Z-Drop, I think, is, is the next big thing for Diddy. Yes. Like, you can buffer a Z-Drop while in hit stun. Oh, so Lord. You, so that's like a frame three option. He jump squats frame three. So you have a frame three trip that leads to kill moves. Very clean banana up smash here, and Seagull finds himself with a stock lead here. Kill percent, but living... Great spot dodge, though. Look at that option. And living again. Now the bust of that up B, definitely, like, that is a post-patch option only. The banana preventing Seagull from extending that combo anymore. And did you notice the up air now? The up air is back to, like, three-patch Smash 4 up air. Oh, God. You can just kind of throw it out, and it's, it auto-cancels as long as it hits shield. Ugh. It is good. Like, auto-canceled up air is just a thing. I don't know about that choice, but it'll, it, it did a lot of shield damage, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, so barrels, like, if you hit with both hits of the barrels, it does 37%. Ooh. That's just... That's, that's, yeah, like, the, that's like the Firefox, fi uh, Fire Falco stuff that does, like, 40% for no reason. Very true, yeah. Lucas PK Thunder, um, all these moves these, that just, like, gotta wonder. So Joe might have actually been able to get a down air there. Neutral air combos into down air at yeah. like absurd percent. But instead, he lands a little bit on safely. Dex punishing appropriately with that out of shield up smash. And now Seagull Joe on his last stock of the tournament, potentially. He's been playing this game really well, though. So I, I think he'll, he will take Dex's second stock here. He just has to... He just has to get a banana. He has to get a banana, and he has to not let Dex have it. Perhaps a little bit too eager there, yeah. as Seagull definitely, like, he didn't wait for the banana to confirm before he went in for that forward smash. Kind of a, almost a missed opportunity there with the whip grab, but... 155, Diddy's weakness is killing, so what can Seagull Joe cook up here? Dexter is not committing to anything. He is not looking to get sniped out by those bananas for these easy kill confirms. He's making Joe work for it. Finally, yeah. the second back here will do it. 67% roughly behind. Seagull has to, he has to be careful because just one read by Dexter and the stock is over. But it's kind of the same for Diddy nowadays. Neutral air combos and a down air. Yeah. At edge, that'll kill. I don't, I don't like it when Wolf has banana. That yeah, bothers Wolf me. Wolf with banana is terrifying. There's, no, there's just no reason for that. That's another kind of nerf to Diddy Kong, because they changed the angle. Oh, no, that oh, could see. We would, see what I told he you, He was going for... He was going for the whole shopping cart there. He wanted it all. I don't blame him, but he's got to look out, because if he goes for too many 
desperate things like that, eventually Dexter's gonna be able to punish it. Dexter just takes the banana, runs to the other side of the stage and throws it up. It's like, no, you can't have it. That is so smart. That entire scenario was set up by Dexter throwing the banana yeah. up. Seagull thought it was still there. He didn't count that that was the second toss. He ran to go get banana, noticed it wasn't there, said, oh crap, what do I do now? Dexter up smash him. That entire situation was set up by Dexter's knowledge. Such an intelligent way to continue his run. Uh, wow. That's that's just something you've got to do against characters that, that play around with items. I know with Rob's gyro, yeah, exactly. you have to take it away. It's not so much that you maximize your usage of it against them. It's just take that tool off the table. Throw it up. It's just so easy to take an item, toss it up or toss it to the 